Hey guys, my name is Funpuro. Two items that give Armor Pen are Lord Dominic's Regards and Sorelda's Grudge. Both have similar properties, but there are differences. They give slightly similar stats, but the passes on both items are different. In this video, I'll go over both items and help you determine when to build each item depending on the situation. So let's get right into the item and what it takes to build these items as well as the stats. So looking at Sorelda's Grudge first, it gives 45 AD, 20 Ability Haste, and 30% Armor Pen. And its passive Bitter Cold slows targets using ability damage and slows them by 30 seconds for one second and it is made up of a Caulfield's Warhammer and a Last Whisper. Now looking at Lord Dominic's regards, it gives you 30 AD, 20% crit chance, and 35% armor pen. And its passive Giant Slayer deals bonus physical damage based off of the max HP difference between you and the person you're targeting and is built with a Last Whisper and a Cloak of Agility. So in order to understand the damage of these items, first we have to look at the math. So I made two equations, one for Lord Dominic's regards and one for Sorelda's grudge to understand how these items do their damage. So, the equation for Lord Dominic's regards is 100 over 100 plus 1 minus percent armor pen times initial armor value, and all of that times damage times 1 plus percent HP difference, and that HP difference is a percent. So, the whole entire thing in the beginning is the damage reduction due to physical damage due to the armor, and Sorelda's Grudge is similar in that the beginning part of the equation with the 100 over 100 plus 1 minus percent armor pen times initial armor value is the same, but then you only multiply by damage because there is no uh, bonus physical damage due to HP difference. So, to understand to understand the slow pass on Cyril's Garage, you sort of have to understand how movement speed works. So movement speed is measured in units per second. So a lot of champions have 335 base movement speed. Not all, but a lot of them do. And then looking at tier 2 boots, which is the final evolution of boots that you can get, like such as uh, Ionian Boots of Lucidity, Sork Shoes, Plated Steel Caps, and more. So those boots give 45 movement speed, but well, most of them do. I'm going to be using the ones that mostly give 45. Uh, so your total movement speed after adding in your movement speed, your base movement speed, would be 380 movement speed. Sorilda's Grudge gives you a 30% slow and is applied by abilities, I want to emphasize the fact that it's abilities, for one second. And um, in order to understand the impact that this has on champions, we have to understand how units work. So Teemo's character model in game is about 100 units long. If we were to use our combined base MS plus the boots MS, we'll get a target moving about 3.8 Teemo's per second. If Sorilda's Grudge was applied for one second, which is a 30% slow, then they would be moving 266 units per second, or 2.66 Teemos per second. So if you were to realistically apply this every second, usually it would take a champion with this combined movement speed of 380, 50 seconds to go from laser to laser, or fountain laser to fountain laser. But with the um, Sorilda's Grudge, it'll be about 71 seconds. That is, if you're applying it every single second, which isn't truly realistic, but that's why I introduced this Teemo model to sort of understand how movement speed is impacted by Sorelda's Grudge. So now, in order to understand the items in comparison to each other, I created inequality to reflect the damage differences. So you could apply any armor value, but I choose 100. So what you can do is choose the LDR equation and set that greater than the Cyrilda's Grudge equation. And when you solve for it, you will solve for the percent HP difference. And then you can use that difference to calculate the HP above your champion's HP to find what HP that the enemy would have to be for Lord Dominic's Grudge to do more damage. So I use the armor value of 100 and I use Graves base damage at level 11 and then combine that with the item damage with either Lord Dominic's Regards or Cyrilda's Grudge. And then... Um, um, I would plug in all those numbers and solve for an inequality that would give me the HP difference needed. And for Lord Dominic's Regards damage, I did 133.1. Sorilda's damage will be 148.1. And the HP percent difference must be eight per at least about 8% for Lord Dominic's Regards to do more, which is at, at least 1471.2 HP using the 1362.3 HP at level 11. So as armor values increase, the value that Lord Dominic's Guard needs in terms of HP difference will go down, as well as higher damage values, the HP difference will also go down, and vice versa. Um, so now let's look at some cases to put this all into context. A level 11 Lucian has 54.33 armor and 1325.65 HP, and the person that we're going to be using to damage this Lucian will be a level 11 Graves, who will have 62.84 armor, 1362.3 HP, and 103.1 base AD. So we're going to look at a Lord Dominic's Regards non-crit chance attack, or a non-crit attack, and then the stats that 
this item gives is 30 AD, 35% armor pen, and bonus physical damage based on percent HP difference. So your new armor value will be 35.3145 armor. And um, you'll multiply that by 0 0.739 times damage to get final damage done. And then your final damage done will be 101.08. So now we're going to look at the same case involving level 11 Lucian and level 11 Graves, same base stats, um, but this time we'll be using Cyrilda's Grudge with one auto attack. And so the combined stats that you get just from Cyrilda's Grudge will be 45 AD and 30% armor pen, and your new armor value will be 38.031 armor. And what you'll do is multiply 0 0.724 times damage to get final damage done, and your final damage will done will be 107.295 damage. So as you can see, Lord Dominic's Regards does do less damage here than the Sword of Scrudge. That said, it is a Lucian who is pretty low in armor, pretty low in HP, so you don't get much value from the Giant Slayer passive on LDR. And then there's also less armor, so armor pen's getting less value. But Sword of Scrudge gives you 15 more AD, and that's why you can see the difference here and that the AD is getting more value against the squishy target. So now let's look at a bruisery case involving the Graves versus the level 11 Gwen with plated steel caps and plus five armor from Rune. And the stats that you get combined from all this will be 99.1 armor and 1639.75 HP. So we'll look at Lord Donald's regards and a non-crit attack. Stats you get 30 AD, 35% armor pen, and fifth, and you'll get bonus physical damage based on percent HP difference. So your new armor value will be 64.415 armor, and what we're going to do is multiply 0.6082 times damage equals final damage. And you get your final damage done to be equal to 93.097 damage. And then, now looking at Cyrilda's Grudge, same case in the Bruisery case involving Level and Gwen. Uh, we'll have one auto attack based on Cyrilda's Grudge, and it'll be 45 AD and 30% armor pen for stats. So your armor value will be 69.37 armor due to the armor pen affecting your armor. And then what we'll do is multiply 0 0.5904 times damage to get your final damage done. And your final damage done will be 87.442 damage. So as you can see here, Lord Damage Guards does do more. Because there is more armor and there is much greater of an HP difference, make sure that when you're doing the calculations for this that the Giant Slayer passive only goes up to 15%. So anything above that won't count. You will, if any above value that's above 15%, you just use 15% in your damage calculations. So some conclusions from this, Lord Dominus Regards usually does more as armor and HP increase, but then you gotta consider how reliable is it on very mobile champions. Will you ever get all your damage across if they're pretty much dodging all your stuff? And Cerildo's Grudge does do more against Wisher targets. And then in addition to that, Cerildo's Slow can compensate for the fact that you're not truly getting all your damage done using the Slow. Um, because if champions are dodging your abilities, the Slow will definitely help you get more of your damage done to them. So you usually build Cerildas when you're against champions that have a lot of mobility and when they're usually ranged around more on the squishier front. But use equations though because this can be situational and that these are just trends that I've been noticing. So I have to thank you guys for all the support that I've been getting on my videos. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, comment down below what you'd like to see next, and have a great day.